Republican in Pennsylvania could certify President-elect Joe Biden as the winner in those states as early as today. But President Trump still has no immediate plans to concede even as President-elect Joe Biden gets ready to announce the first members of his cabinet. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. While President Trump golfed Sunday, a small but growing number of Republicans escalated their calls for him to concede. We're beginning to look like uh, we're a banana republic. Um, it, it, it's, it's time uh, for them to stop the nonsense. But the Trump campaign is appealing a federal judge's dismissal of a lawsuit to block certification of votes in Pennsylvania. In a scathing opinion issued over the weekend, the judge compared the president's lawsuit to Frankenstein's monster, haphazardly stitched together. The conduct of the president's legal team has been a national embarrassment. The president's team is also paying for a partial recount in Wisconsin's two largest counties. President-elect Joe Biden won the state by about 20,000 votes. As President Trump continues to pursue his legal options, President-elect Joe Biden is building his cabinet with some key picks expected to be announced Tuesday. CBS News confirms Mr. Biden has selected longtime aide and diplomat Tony Blinken to be his secretary of state. CBS News also confirms the former vice president plans to nominate Linda Thomas Greenfield as ambassador to the United Nations. She was the former assistant secretary of state for African affairs and one of the highest ranking black diplomats at the department. But nominees won't be able to receive their mandatory background checks until the General Services Administration recognizes an election winner. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. CBS News also confirms that Jake Sullivan is President-elect Biden's choice for national security advisor. Sullivan is a close aide of Biden's. was one of the small group of U.S. officials who secretly met with Iranian officials in 2013 to begin the diplomacy that developed into the Iran nuclear deal.